Hello, Ralph Cabbage, Aquaman Knox. Today we're looking at what's in the tool bag, some new Pro Iconic series tools from Hydra Aquatics. We're gonna compare them to some others. Today we're looking at the Hydra Aquatics Iconic Pro Series tools. We're going to compare them to some of the other tools I own and other tools that I told you I liked and go over them all together. First of all, uh, sent me this nice little Hydra Aquatics tool bag, which is a place to keep the tools and have them protected. And it's a nice little addition to anybody that has a lot of tools like I do. Uh, what we did was, um, as everyone knows, ADA is a tool that people like to compare to. They definitely make some good tools, and I own ADA tools. So I've got a few of those before I found out about Viv, which I consider to be one of the best tools on the market, and then some of the Pro Series Hydra Aquatics are on equal par. But we wanted to look at them side by side. So first of all, let's look at um, the Viv uh, tools, and we don't have Pro Series Iconic to compare with those, but in my bag, I've got two of these tools, which are, I mean, if you're looking for short pin sets or tweezers, and these are two of my favorite, and I use them all the time, but if you need short, um, Viv wins that out. And these, they have a short pair of scissors, a short pair of tweezers that are highly polished, and then the grip pin set tweezers. These are all, again, in the short size, around six to seven inches. You won't buy anything better than those. And then I also like their curved um, tweezer just because of the polish in the finish, and it's real easy to squeeze and grip something. So it's nice. So we'll push Viv aside for the rest of this. You all know how I feel about this and their glassware being top notch. And we'll look at some of these others compared to ADA. First of all, let's look at um, spring scissors. So the Hydra's got three spring scissors in the Iconic series. Um, this is a new, brand new, unique scissors. It's actually curved up so you could cut along this way or that way. And what was interesting when I looked at these compared you know, to the ADA, the ADA, it actually doesn't cut and spring as easily as any of the Hydra Aquatic models. They're, they're nice, don't get me wrong, but they're just not quite as easy to uh, cut as the others. And we did tests on all of these. So we took the scissors and we took three pieces of paper and actually made different cuts along three pieces of paper. And we did... Um, tests in that way and cut some other plants as well. Plus I've used the ADA for a long time. So the, the new series from Hydra, they've added three models. First of all, they black anodize the handle. So in the grooves and things, you never have to worry about any kind of buildup or residue and that helps protect it. But then they still polish out the stainless steel. There's a straight set. There is a the curve set that I just mentioned. And then curve going that direction, which all of these I use now. I use all of these. I use actually the straight set the least often. Okay, but these are very, very nice. When you look at the, this bent scissor and this bent scissor, they're leaving the meat on the outside edge of that. And that's to give it rigidity so that you won't have any trouble with accidentally getting them bent or anything like that. So that's nice. ADA does that as well. Now, if you want to compare to the ADA, it's actually a little harder. Squeeze. The quality's still nice. They're using the same, it's using the same uh, 
rounded, thicker blade on the straight one that's used for the curve to give it rigidity. Hydro Aquatics. Straight, iconic Hydro Aquatics. That way, Hydro Aquatics. Those are the easiest. Go right here one more time, the straight Hydro Aquatics. 80A. They squeeze together okay, they're a little rough. On the spring scissors, they do not cut as well as any of the others. So that is the iconic Pro Series Hydro Aquatics. Um, spring scissor lineup and I don't think you're gonna find a better spring scissor than that now we look at pin sets um, first of all if you're looking for big tweezers or pin sets Hydra has everybody beat on that. The quality's there. You've got the heavier ones that can be used for corals and bigger pieces, black anodized. Then they've got a custom one that is a little sharper at the tip. And I own both of these tools and you'll be very happy with those. But we're gonna go into more of the, the middle of the road size, the, the sizes of tools that everybody has and uh, talk about those a bit. And so of the pin sets, I have here the, um, this is the Hydro Aquatics, their new Iconic, which is a polished stainless steel, surgical stainless steel, very easy to squeeze, has the little thumb hole on it, which I like, and then they also make that version in black. The distance between the two are just slightly different on the front end. The black has a polished tip at the edge. Again, you still have the thumb hole, and then it's anodized, black anodized on the edges. And that compares to the ADA, which the ADAs are a little bit wider at the end. They're not any easier and they don't grip any better. They're all about the same and they're all good. We're looking at the best. I think you'll see there's not a huge difference in quality. I think the Hydra Aquatics has some, some, some little refinements that are nicer than ADA. And then ADA by no means is um, low quality. They pay attention to detail on all of those and... They are nice as well. I think you're gonna love the Hydra Aquatics. The price point's beautiful. It's really nice. And uh, all of these three are, there you go. These are all pin sets that you will like. And I like, these are the ones I use personally. And they're easy to squeeze. They're easy to work and use for a long period of time. And they're some of the best out there. I think these are the best out there. Um, so thumbs up to the pin sets from Hydra Aquatics, the Iconic. Now they all come, so you know, they come in um, the plastic patch packages. Viv does this, ADA does this, so does the Iconic models from um, Hydra Aquatics. So there they are right there. Not that that matters, but you can easily see them and tell the quality on the shelf. Some of the other Hydro Aquatics Pro Series will come in these sleeves, which the sleeves are nice because you can protect them and you can use them over and over again. But that's so you know on the larger tweezers are gonna come in those. Now, a unique scissor, okay? Everybody's seen this bad boy from um, ADA, mostly because it's the most expensive scissor you can probably buy in our industry. Um, it's got tungsten carbide edges and it is used really to, to cut things like wood and we tried to cut you know not not big pieces of wood but smaller pieces of wood branches like on java fern things of that nature it also gives you a, an interesting angle just like the spring scissors where you can cut now i tested these on both paper and wood and compared them to the new iconic series now this is a this is hydro aquatics answer to ada if you will longer blade more metal, they're beefier. Now beefier means they're a little heavier, but they should be more durable as well. And if you look, they also have the tungsten carbide. Tungsten carbide edges, both of these have them, cost more. 
If you're getting something that claims to be tungsten carbide that's at this caliber and they're inexpensive, you're not getting tungsten carbide. You're not being told the truth. These, you can see the tungsten carbide edges on these. That makes them last longer at a sharper point. They're sharper, they can cut better, and that edge will hold itself a lot longer. It's tungsten carbide. So that's the new iconic tool. And I, again, give this a thumbs up. These are excellent tools. I'm happy to add this to my tool pouch. The last thing, and it's a new item from from Hydra, and it's an, an algae scraper. Uses standard razor blades, very nice. It's all very nicely polished. There's no chance of getting cut on the razor blade except for on the end, obviously, but some of them will make it so that part of the razor blade is either showing there or there once you put this plate on, and I don't like that, and you can cut yourself. Also, some of them don't use standard razor blades. This is a standard double-edged razor blade that you can buy anywhere in the U.S., and then you can take this apart and use it at this length or you can screw it down at the separation there and use it shorter. They've done black oxide on the, on the uh, textured part of the handle so you don't have to worry about getting that dry or ever having any rust. All surgical stainless steel. This is definitely uh, a best pick for me as well. I'm giving that a thumbs up. You're going to want this. We're going to play with it in George's tank and keep his tank nice and clean over there because it grows a lot of algae. It's a cichlid tank. And it's small enough, petite enough, you can use it in little tanks, but long enough that you can use it in large tanks. I'm Ralph Cabbage, Aquaman Knox. I will list all of this down below where you can link to this and the lists and where you can purchase them. Have a great day. Be sure and subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like this video.